Welcome you all to Marine Mechanic and the topic is in relation to the discussion we had earlier on the Facebook Marine Mechanic page the reason for Titanic sinking. We all know many reasons like there was no communication, there was no uh, proper steel or proper means of construction, reverted ship and in spite of warning overconfidence of the master all these reasons we can say but with respect to the engineers point of view with and with ship construction and design in mind the one main thing what we are going to discuss in this video would have definitely saved Titanic from sinking do watch this video and post the comments let's share our views here goes our investigation on Titanic. So here is the famous picture which you must have seen on the movie Titanic or some National Geographic Channel uh, video or something like that. So I couldn't make such animation as what I found this to be the best one to illustrate the concept of why Titanic sank. Alright, so on the Facebook Marine Mechanic page we had a lot of discussion on this issue regarding the reasons for the sinking of Titanic. Fortunately or unfortunately a lot of people think that the ship is riveted that's why it sank or the ship is let's say the solace was not into place or the lifeboats were of insufficient capacity the steel is of uh, just mild steel so it, it encountered brittle fracture all these reasons came up and also distractions due to um, the hero and heroine of the movie uh, they were kissing each other that was the answer which I got so when we look at the fact actually how did Titanic sink Let's watch this uh, series of picture and understand it better. You can see that the ship is approaching this iceberg on its starboard side where they are trying to turn the ship towards port more. Since the speed of ship is uh, at its maximum, it didn't respond quickly. So let's see the next picture. Alright, so here is a scratch or dent on the starboard side under the water line and this scratch was extending to four compartments, the first four compartments. So these are the pictures which I got from this video. So this is the first scratch, second, third, fourth and here and here. So all the four compartments on the forward of the ship got scratched and water started to enter it. Now what you can see is the transverse bulkheads over here are watertight. Yes, they are definitely watertight till this level. You can see it over here and these had watertight doors where the navigation watchkeeper has taken a swift action shutting this watertight doors immediately after the collision with the iceberg. So, however you can note here is like the water starts to go up, go up, up, right. So same thing happened with this, this and all the four compartments. Now with the next picture you'll get a clear idea. This is the uppermost continuous deck or the weather deck. So this is watertight. This has to be watertight and now the transverse bulkheads extending from the bottom of the ship has to meet here or touch here. When you look at the cross section or the longitudinal view of the present day ships, let's say a bulk carrier or car carrier or even a cruise liner, every transverse bulkhead, watertight bulkhead will extend till the uppermost continuous deck. Thus the watertight integrity is maintained or when initial or the forward two or three compartments are flooded the flooding is contained within that it will not extend to the subsequent compartments so the main reason what the marine mechanic team found out is the bulkhead was not extending till the uppermost continuous deck so the water 
flooded the first four compartments, then it jumped over, then it spilled over, spilled over, and thus covering almost first half part of the ship. So the bow started to dive deep into the water, thus it was similar to a seesaw effect where the stern took almost 60 degree inclination with respect to the sea level. And then due to the stress concentration, the golden funnels over here with at the shell expansion joint started to break. And here it is. So now the stern is completely up at an angle of approximately 60 degrees and the nose is submerged into the water and she starts to break. However, the bottommost part is still intact. So the bow starts to pull the aft part of the ship and then due to the air pressure, air which is inside this ha didn't have sufficient opening to escape. So this force created or this force made the ship to be split into two parts and then the stern portion rises up and then finally it goes down into the water as the air escapes out through some other opening. So that's the main reason for the Titanic to sink. So even though the ship is riveted or double hull or double skin or whatever it is, if the transverse bulkhead would have been extended to the uppermost continuous deck, the flooding could have been contained within the first four or five compartments and arrested completely and the ship would have been unsinkable. Well here is the animation which I downloaded from the National Geographic channel and I can see she's been hit by the iceberg on the starboard side and through the dents or the scratches water starts to fill up first four or five compartments only and the water level rises and here you can see it starts to fill up and then spills over the bulkhead and over the bulkhead. So she starts to uh, trim down by head and then she starts to sink. And at the second expansion joint she starts to break and the power goes off, the stern cracks apart. And the bow pulls the stern down but due to the entrapped air the stern detaches from the bow and slowly the air which is trapped in the stern just escapes and thus the stern goes down. And I have not made this animation. I give complete credits to the National Geographic channel for making this animation and I'm using this just for explanation purpose and I don't own this animation. But the theory and concept is by Marine Mechanic team. Do voice your comments. Let's discuss more on Titanic. Thank you for watching.